how it started. Iger was confirming the entire Disney vault was going to be part of Disney Plus and how it's going. They're removing a bunch of content from Disney Plus. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. Welcome to the Disney Plus garage sale. Yeah, That's, right now they're just removing stuff, but people are speculating that we know what's what we've been to saying it. for a while now that they're probably going to pull Zazlab and just send you know sell it out to Tubi or to you know. Roku or whatever that they're all speculating. That's what they're going to do with it now. Yeah. Uh, just, just for the record, you heard it. You probably, I mean, I'm not saying other people didn't say it, but you probably heard it here first that they got the idea from HBO. Hey, we'll just take the shows. Nobody really watches anymore that we're not making money off of and dump them onto another platform so we can try to claw back some money. Well, they've already been doing that. They've been sending it out to Tubi and stuff for some other stuff. Yeah. And that wasn't stuff that was like really you know popular on Disney Plus or anything, but they've been. Then you had Christine McCarthy talking about the 1.5 to 1.8 billion, you know, write down they could take for removing this stuff. So they take it off because it didn't perform, including Willow, which we're gonna talk about in a minute. But um, then they can turn around and, and make more money back again by sending it to another company. Yeah, because they're going to get, you know, their whatever licensing fees yep. and then advertising or whatever. I mean, this is basically these shows are being sent to other platforms, probably, probably being sent to other platforms to die. And the you kicker know? is some of these shows are the ones that people were like, oh, my God, we were going agendifying whatever, like Willow. Yeah. She brought the dozen. You know, these different shows, that, that Why the, the Last Man, these shows that were really ridiculously going, you know, twisted for whatever reason. They're the ones that are getting booted off first. Willow just ended in January. Yeah. Or was it February? I don't know. It was just a couple months. It wasn't that long ago. That, that shows you what a huge failure this was because they know – Nobody's watching Willow on the platform, and they're actually going to make more money by getting rid of it than keeping it on Disney+. Right. Plus. And, but but yeah. remember, Jonathan Kazin? The, no, 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 no. It's not over. It's not canceled. They're just shelving it for a bit it's till it comes sleeping. back for season two. It's not dead. It's just resting. It's just resting. No, it's effing dead. Uh, they'll, they'll reboot Willow in about 10 years. Uh, Willow will now be a black lesbian. No, yeah. I don't think so. They'll reboot Willow and they'll have to change. Well, well, we don't have to say the actors, but they'll have to actually, you know, make it a good. Yeah, I kind of wonder if, if they don't go back and do sequels to some of these, you know, Disney properties, if they're just going to do what they did with uh, Superman Returns and they pretended Superman 3 and 4 never existed, and they just went back and made a sequel to 2. They could have. If they'll do that, be like, yeah, that Disney Plus show, yeah, that that's not canon anymore. Those Disney Plus shows, those Star Wars sequels, yeah, that's not canon Yeah, anymore. the problem is we won't get anything good. If we do no. do anything, well, it won't be for at all, or if not for years, and by then, you we, know. We had books. We had comics. We don't oh. We don't need I'm we don't tired need of it. But I just thought it was very ironic because we did a video before and, and you can go look for that video. But he was like, no, uh, it could come back in a few years. It could come back. Season two, everybody has been let go and everybody went on to other projects. But it's still happening, I swear. And now Disney's completely removing it and stepping over it from Disney+. Plus. All right. So before we get into it any further, further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We do talk a lot about Disney because they keep stepping on a rake. They can't help themselves. Oh, I was telling mom, Disney crapped the bed again. Uh, <laughs> I have to go God. do videos. Uh, things are, look, things are much, much worse at Disney yes. than they are letting on. And we've been telling yes. you guys this for, I don't know, two, three, four years now that you know we're looking at this, and especially when we had that whistleblower come out and she was talking about how they were you know, juggling the books to make it look like they were more profitable. And I think what they've been doing is, I think it's similar to, to Vice. Vice gave the appearance of being successful for a decade, basically borrowing and then paying off old debts with new debts and just kind of, you know. Well, in the case of, of Disney Plus, they're getting the they're getting sued. Disney's getting sued. Disney, Bob Iger, Kareem Daniel, and Christine McCarthy, our name specifically, are getting sued from uh, people that were had investors in Disney Plus and Disney stock because Disney Plus was, they were being misled. They used the Mysterious Benedict Society as an example, which is one of the ones getting removed. Yeah. That they were supposed to put it as a Disney Plus original. It was slated as a Disney Plus original. Then they released it on the Disney channel or one of those show, one of those networks first so they could take the money from there and move it around to make a Disney Plus appear like it was more profitable than it actually was. That's what they're alleging. That's what the class action lawsuit's about. And now we have, you know, that movie that, or that show in particular and then Willow and other ones being pulled from Hulu and Disney. Yeah, it's it's very it's very interesting. Um, and I think there are going to be a lot more um, 
uh, thrifty with their spending going forward. And I think this is not working out the way they thought it was going to work. They thought they were going to make all this content for Disney Plus. It was all going to be gold. We saw in a previous video, we saw a commercial and I forgot it existed. Uh, White Men Can't Jump on Hulu. Again, another series nobody asked for to a franchise that everybody forgot existed. That's it. I mean, Disney wants to stop hemorrhaging money. Well, here's a couple ideas. One, stop rebooting, remaking everything you have. Just stop doing that. Stop the live action remakes. Just stop right now. Stop. Okay. Make new things that are good. Make new things that have mass appeal. Make things that aren't, uh, you know, that are diverse but aren't agenda driven and ridiculous. Okay. Don't let people like Phoebe Waller bridge, write shit. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm, you want to make money. This, this is free advice. Uh, I'm just letting you know, this is what you need to do. You know, maybe stop going out there and causing a big fight with the governor of Florida. I mean, just, you should have just taken the L and just, you know, worked with them and they would have brought if you would they would have worked with you. Now you're costing yourself money and PR just, just stop. Oh, Disney's taking the L right up the ass right I now. Mean, I mean, not just I mean, on Donald's from that, just in general. Just in general, they're they're getting it from all sides. And I think I think this is a company that is trying very hard to uh, manage its PR, but it's very obvious. It's very obvious that this company is is floundering. Well, maybe uh -huh. if you, you yeah, know, maybe if you uh, you know didn't like ruin Star Wars and ruin Marvel. And even when you had something good like The Mandalorian, you still found a way to fuck it up by season three. You know, you cannot stay the course. And sometimes things just need, they're better left where they were and they don't need a remake or reimagining or whatever. So this is uh, this is Polygon's version of it. And it's interesting. They have some tweets from some of the showrunners who are like, what the hell? You know, <laughs> what the hell, guys? We're, we're getting sold off. Um, Disney's preparing to remove over 50 series and specials from Disney Plus and Hulu starting next week, according to Deadline. Disney announced its intentions to remove content during an earnings call last week. Yeah, but I don't think people realized how extensive mm -mm. it was. Gonna, it was like, oh, yeah, we'll get rid of some old crap and nobody cares. I thought they were going to put like some old, you know, 60 shows back in the vault or something. Like, there's no mm -hmm. more Spin and Marty, guys. Sorry. Titles to re be removed across Disney Plus and Hulu include Willow, Why the Last Man, which caused a huge issue online because people were super excited for that adaptation only to have them be like, yeah, well, technically it's not that he's the only uh, man left because there are trans men too. And they're like, oh my God, really? Like that just undermines the whole point point of the comic. And people are like, yeah, we're out guys. We're out. Diary of a future president. Never heard of it. The mysterious Benedict society, little demon and star. Is a little demon. The one where, where like Satan had a, Baby or somebody slept with Satan when that stands know. at that one. Yeah, this is Little Demon. Uh, Little Demon. That's the the one that uh, people were having a fit about. They're like, this woman gets knocked up by Satan or something. One night stand. This is on on Hulu and it's an adult cartoon. So that one, it's Aubrey Plaza. It didn't even last a year. I mean, what the hell? Uh, on the earnings call, Disney CFO Christine McCarthy said the removal of series and films was meant to align with the strategic change in our approach to content curation. No, it's to get rid of things that aren't performing so they could take a write down and make some money and then sell it off somebody else, lease it off somebody else so they can make more money um, and get it off the platform. Yep. Um, they expect the company is going to take an impairment charge of approximately $1.5 billion to $1.8 billion. And again, are they going to blame DeSantis for this? DeSantis, DeSantis made us take our, look what you did, Ron. You made us take our content off of Disney Plus to save a $2 billion. Look what you did. Yeah, yeah. it's all your fault. Because they're blaming him for uh, Lake Nona. And it was just like. Uh, uh, right here. The move mirrors decisions made by Warner Brothers Discovery, what? which last year moved content based on Max for financial reasons. And then, I'll be at some key differences. Um, and other people were mentioning, too, that well, they're probably going to lease it out. It's like, no shit. Yeah. There's no news yet whether any of the streaming exclusive titles being removed are going to be made available to purchase, rent, or stream. Uh, careers behind the shows and films are equally in the dark. Yeah, they're not going to tell you because they're probably working on deals right now. And I, I guarantee you they're going to wind up on, you know, Amazon or Tubi or something, some ad sponsor. And it's just like, yeah, we'll just dump the shit because it's not making us money. So it's somebody else's problem now. Here we've got Julia Hart. Uh, who did a movie called Star Girl? Devastated the movie I poured my heart and soul into is leaving Disney Plus. 
Watch it while you can. Proud of the work my amazing colleagues and I did. I was eight weeks postpartum when we started. So what? Uh, what does that have to do with anything? The process was worth the sacrifice, even if the result was not. Now it's getting dumped. Uh, oh, this is Eliza Clark. This is the one who was kicking stuff up about uh, why the last man. If you haven't seen it or you'd like to watch it again, you have until May <laughs> yeah, 26. Right. It's really good. Amazing. Work. This is another one that they're like, we're going to get a season two, guys. Honest. Um, amazing work from talented folks at the top of their game. For real, 10 episodes, please watch. Yeah, the comic went on for years. It's amazing that the show didn't last more than one season. It's amazing. It's, it's like if you change the source material, things don't go well. Yeah. In addition to the announcement that Disney would soon remove content from streaming platforms, Bob Iger told investors the company plans to make Hulu content available on Disney+. Plus. They're going to have a one-app experience. Again, who the hell called that? Oh, yeah, they're going to merge them together. As soon as Disney gets ownership of Hulu, they're going to probably merge it in some way. So here's the thing. They think that this might save them money, but this is going to cost them subscribers. Not that this content was really worth anything, but people are going to look at it and be like, oh, you're not going to leave this stuff on. Because a lot of people subscribe to Disney+. Plus. I know when it, it first came out, people were like, I can get rid of all my DVDs, my my vintage DVDs now, because the entire Disney vault is going to be online. All Disney content yeah. ever made is going to be on this one app, except for Song of the South. Everything else is going to be on this app, and now they're already taking content Well, off. it's an interesting thing here they're pointing out, too. Disney's decision arrives amidst the Writers Guild of America contract negotiations and strike. One of the key points on the table is the payment of residuals to writers of streaming content. Mm -hmm. Well, perhaps not wholly strike-related, I doubt it. The sudden decision to remove shows, movies, and specials from the streaming service is they move to claim a tax write-off arrives at a crucial moment in the entertainment industry. I don't think so. I think they're just doing it because they're desperate for money. No. I don't think it really has to do with the residuals because it hasn't been decided yet. Let's look at this list. None of this shit performed it just didn't perform it's not a couple of them i thought it did but it could be wrong we have artemis fowl we have better nate than ever yeah better nate than ever uh the big fib big shot black beauty cheap the new cheaper by the dozen remember that no you don't of course you don't um diary of future president what earth to ned those what? are actually yeah i thought harmonious live <laughs> oh my god well they got rid of harmonious yes completely, thank god they? they took those yeah. awful stargate barges out they were hideous it's a dog's life howard the Making, Making of Willow. Willow. The, the Mighty, Mighty Ducks. Ducks show, that was a garbage project. Uh, Marvel's Hero Project. The Mysterious um, Benedict Society. The one and only Ivan. Pentatonics. Pick of the list. This is all like D-list content. This is the shit. Like when Netflix first started their streaming. I don't know if you guys remember when they first started doing streaming content. There was Disney stuff on Netflix. But it was like the bottom of the barrel stuff. Mm -hmm. It was like direct to DVD sequels. Like they didn't have Tarzan. I think they had like Tarzan and Jane, but not Tarzan. You know what I'm saying? Stuff yeah. they knew they weren't going to make money on. It wasn't worth it for them to to keep it. You know. Um, um they had like uh, they have Star on here, which you mentioned uh, Timmy Failure, Turner and Hooch, Willow. Yeah, the Turner Hooch show. Remember well, the that? The recording Jeff Goldblum got put on there. Yeah, but that was like that was like a launch title. That was like one of the first shows, and then like everybody forgot it existed. And Hulu, it's Best in Doe, Best in Snow, Darby and the Dead, Dollface, Everything's Trash, Little Demon, <laughs> Love of the Time of Corona, Maggie Pistol, The Premise, The Quest, and Why the Last Man. Everything. So far, because so some people are saying so this is the first round. I don't know. I can't confirm that, but that's what they're saying. Um, everything's trash. Everything's trash to Disney at this point. They're just, this is their garage sale, guys. I'm telling you, this is a Disney garage sale. And they're going to go through and as stuff uh, doesn't perform, you'll be able to tell whether or not a show actually had any value depending on how quickly Disney offloads it. Mm -hmm. And if it's like Willow and it's like, okay, it's only been done for like two months and we're already dumping the shit yeah that just tells you everything you need to know about willow that which tells you was, everything. well yeah. new it didn't do well no no it was gloriously great honest take my word for it and it's like and all the media outlets were like the haters are saying it's like well the haters were right because disney wouldn't offload it and try to take a write down on it if it was a a, a win the ha the haters are hoping the star cruiser will fail it was because it was gonna fail it's not hating pointing out the fucking obvious it's not hating. It's like, hey, look, you know, if you listen, here's an idea of Disney. If you stop spending so much time and money trying to discredit people and doing weird shit on YouTube, you could just turn around and listen and maybe say, well, maybe they have a point and change your direction and save yourself. A lot of hassle. Just point that out. Point that out. Well, that's okay. Disney's not going to be able to, to afford to pay those uh, bot accounts much longer. They can't afford much of anything. So we're going to wrap it up. Yep. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, and we'll talk later. Bye. Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support 
and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's thereef.support.